LC Sciences offers a customized solution to high-throughput genome-wide variant analysis. The Variant Pro system is comprised of three distinct innovations, all developed by scientists right here at LC Sciences. Relay PCR, Omega Primers, and Oligomix. Relay PCR is a new, simple, and robust method of multiplexing PCR. A single PCR run accomplishes two functionally separate reaction phases without any primer removal step, resulting in a significantly simplified one-step workflow. A single pair of common primers and a mixture of multiple pairs of specific primers are added to a genomic DNA sample in a single tube. This comprises the entire hands-on procedure required to perform relay PCR. Both a selection phase, where the genomic targets of interest are captured, and a library amplification phase will occur during the single PCR reaction. The reaction consists of many pairs of specific primers, each pair flanking one of the target regions of interest. Each pair of specific primers is designed with two segments, a specific segment which will be specific for its genomic target region, and a common segment used for linking to the common primers. The reaction also contains a single pair of common primers. These primers are designed with two segments as well, a common segment for linking with a common segment of the specific primers, and a tail segment which has no function in the relay PCR reaction but may contain additional motifs required for next-gen sequencing such as adapters and barcoding indexes. The common primers are designed to anneal at a temperature distinct from the specific primers. The addition of these common primers at a high concentration represents a technological leap in multiplexing PCR because it limits the role of specific primers to only the first two thermocycles for target selection, which enables an automatic switch to the common primers in the remaining thermocycles for library amplification. This relay switch to common primers eliminates a significant cause for amplicon to amplicon variations common to traditional multiplexing PCR due to priming efficiency variations among specific primers which are exponentially amplified when used as amplification primers. Relay PCR begins with the selection phase. In cycles 1 and 2, multiple pairs of specific primers anneal to their targets and extend. After these two cycles, the selection phase is complete. Limiting the selection phase to the first two PCR cycles limits any primer efficiency bias resulting in more uniform representation of target. The PCR cycle 2 products consist of the captured target regions, each flanked by the common segment of the specific primers. PCR cycle 3 begins the amplification phase, where a single pair of common primers anneals to the common segments flanking each captured target. The common primers anneal at a distinct temperature from the specific primers. After PCR cycle 4, the tail segments have been added to both ends of each captured target region, and all subsequent cycles serve to amplify this product. Thus, a single one-step reaction in a single tube requiring no special skills accomplishes both target selection and library amplification and solves the issue of primer-induced variation inherent to traditional multiplex PCR. An omega primer may exist in various forms, but all are composed of three functional segments. This segmented design provides several desirable features and or properties in various applications. Generally, the 5' prime arm acts as the anchor to bind the primer to a DNA template. The 3' prime arm checks sequence specificity before polymerase extension is initiated. The loop provides a separation between the two arms and may serve additional purposes. Omega primers are well suited for multiplex PCR applications, where the flexibility to design highly multiplex primers to target many regions may be limited due to PCR thermodynamics. In general, when capturing targeted regions for sequencing by multiplex PCR, it is desirable to make the specific primer TM high at low primer concentration to achieve a high degree of specificity. 
In many cases, this demands a longer primer length because the probability that a primer has more than one specific binding site within a genome is significantly lower for longer primers. However, it is also desirable to have primer sections of PCR amplicons as short as possible so as to maximize sequencing reading length of captured sequences and minimize the portion of short sequencing reads consumed by the primer sections. The Omega Primer design, incorporating the use of two separate binding segments, provides additional primer design freedoms to balance these needs. Recall the design of the Relay PCR reaction, multiple pairs of specific primers and a single pair of common primers. In the Variant Pro system, the two-segment specific primer design is replaced with the Omega Primer's three-segment design. While both the 3' prime and 5' prime binding segments of the Omega Primer serve as the specific segment, the loop section serves as the common segment of the specific primers. Again, the Relay PCR begins with a selection phase, now with Omega Primers. In Cycles 1 and 2, multiple pairs of specific primers anneal to their targets at Extend. After these two cycles, the selection phase is complete. The selection phase products now consist of the captured target regions, each flanked by the common segment or loop of the Omega Primers, and finally the long 5' prime arm of the Omega Primers. This long 5' prime arm is designed long for high specificity during the selection phase. However, in the Relay PCR reaction, the long 5' prime arms are bypassed during common primer amplification and therefore not incorporated into the final PCR amplicon, thus eliminating a source of wasted sequencing coverage without the need for a primer digestion and cleanup step. Additionally, the use of Omega primers reduces the chance of forming amplifiable primer primer dimers. The amplifiable primer primer dimers are formed when two primers are cross hybridized and at least one of the primers has its three prime end complementarily bind to the three prime arm of the other primer. Omega primers generally have much shorter three prime arms than that of regular primers and therefore have a statistically much lower chance of forming these amplifiable primer primer dimers. Thus, a three segment design primer provides design freedom for highly multiplex reactions is well suited for the specific needs of relay PCR in that it may contain both a specific target selection segment and a common segment and solves the problem of primer primer dimer formation inherent to traditional multiplex PCR. Taking advantage of Variant Pro's high multiplexing capability, custom design targeted sequencing projects may require very large numbers of custom oligo primers, up to tens of thousands. Oligomix is an established proven method of massive parallel oligosynthesis that quickly and cost effectively provides the required oligos. Thousands of custom oligo sequences are synthesized at once on a microchip and then cleaved, releasing them into solution in a single microtube ready for use. Oligo mix synthesis is performed on the microparaflow microfluidic synthesis platform, where synthesis occurs via the same standard DMT chemistry used for conventional oligo synthesis. No specialized nucleotide monomers are required. Instead, innovative PGA chemistry uses light to generate reaction reagents and thus enables the miniaturized synthesis of custom sequences with otherwise conventional chemistry, assuring efficient stepwise yield and high quality final product. Oligomix has been demonstrated as an effective method of oligosynthesis for several targeted sequencing methods, including molecular inversion probes, selective genomic circularization, oligoselective sequencing, and variant pro targeted sequencing.